Australia was home to people who learned from the soil, the wind and the sky. They had no universities, yet every day was a classroom. Every footprint, every stream of water, every star in the night sky was a living book filled with wisdom. In Victoria, they built networks of small dams and carved earthen channels that controlled the flow of water. These simple yet precise structures made fishing easier and kept the land fertile. Some researchers consider this system the oldest known example of engineered water management on the Australian continent. Indigenous people never relied on blind force for hunting. They understood the habits of kangaroos and followed their migration paths. With short guiding walls, they gently directed the animals into areas where hunting could be done safely and efficiently. This was behavioral science long before the world had a name for it. To them, fire was not destruction, it was healing. They practiced cool burning, creating low intensity fires that removed dry fuel and revived the soil. Young plants would emerge, animals would return, and the land became safer. Modern environmental scientists now rely on the same techniques to prevent large wildfires. Under the vast Australian night, the sky was an open book. Indigenous people recognized dark shapes in the Milky Way, not just the bright stars. They predicted rainfall, seasonal change, and migration timing by reading the heavens. For them, the sky was a scientific instrument. Indigenous knowledge of medicinal plants was remarkable. They used the leaves of the Melaleuca tree to disinfect wounds. They used certain roots to ease pain and inflammation. Many of these plants are still being studied in modern Australian medical research. They carried maps in their minds, not on paper. Song lines were their navigation system. Each song described rivers, rocks, shadows, and sources of water. By singing the route, a person could walk across vast landscapes without losing their way. Researchers consider this one of the most advanced, non-written mapping systems in the world. The Yongu people understood the relationship between the moon, the tides, and the best times for fishing long before modern science explained it. They knew the patterns of the ocean, the shifts of water, and how life depended on the rhythm of the moon.